it's the budget within a budget. So it hopes to ease the cost of living crisis. Yeah, no, it is a big, big deal and it's a big budget. And it, in fact, it's probably two budgets because you have the one on one side, you have the traditional budget measures, which, you know, detail how much spending is going to be, how much money is going to be spent on health care and education and what, what kind of tax changes are going to be rolled out. And then you have a whole series of other one off measures that have been put in place by the government to try and tackle, at least to some degree, the cost of living crisis that the country is, is, is living through. So it's a huge spend worth around 11 billion euro, which is which is, which is a big budget by any measure. Um, and then the question, of course, be will be what difference will it make to people? And will the measures that have been introduced, both the tax measures and the one off measures, will they make a, a, any difference? So I suppose one of the big ticket items and one that was widely anticipated in advance of the budget was the energy credits. Now, we've talked about the, the energy credits that the government uh, rolled out earlier this year when they gave us all a 200 euro, 200 euro credit on our domestic energy bills. That's going to happen again. And there's going to be a 600 euro energy credit, 200 euros before Christmas, and then two further slices of, of, of the credit uh, of 200 euros after Christmas. So that'll amount to 600 euros. And of course, the question then is, well, like, what difference will that make? And it'll make a slight difference, but it's not going to make a massive difference. Because when you think that energy prices are going to go up by around 2,000, 2,200 euros per household, 600 euros is only going to make a dent in that. But I suppose it could be argued that it's better than nothing. Um, another big measure that was introduced was they've widened the tax band at which people pay the 20% rate. Now, it's gone up from just under €37,000 uh, to €40,000. So you're not going to start paying 40, uh, you're not going to start paying the 40% rate of tax until you earn €40,000 or more. And in terms of how much people will benefit from that, people who earn over 40 grand will, will pay 640 euros or thereabouts less in tax. And then on top of that, there's a 75 euro tax credit. And then there's slight tweaks to the universal social charge, which are worth about 50 quid. So the people who are probably going to gain most from the tax, ch tax changes are the people who earn 40,000 euros and above. All right. Uh, we're talking about energy costs, uh, the, the, how like, allowances are being made. What about businesses? Because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of small businesses. So like my wife uh, runs her own business and the energy cost for, the, for uh, retail outlets and such places have gone through the roof. So there is a measure in place for them as well. There is. The government has put in place a, 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 a measure that will, will amount to multiple thousands of euro for businesses to offset the higher cost of, of energy that they're going to be using. Because it has been very clear to state that, OK, well, they put a lot of money into keeping into propping businesses up during COVID times and they're not going to let these businesses go to the wall as a result of higher energy costs. So that's another scheme that's been rolled out. Um, and, then, and, and and all of these all of these kind of these these one off measures are, are being taken out of the, the a huge chunk of money that has been set aside to help deal with the crisis. And the government has been very clear to stress that these are kind of emergency measures, not unlike the emergency measures that were put in place to support businesses uh, in, in times of COVID. Uh, so it'll be it'll it'll function in, in, in the same, you know, it, it will be a cash sum to help businesses to pay for their energy costs. Um, the other thing that people will obviously be focused on is what's going to happen to, to social welfare payments because the, the, the really harsh reality of the cost of living crisis is that it impacts poorer people, people on lower incomes disproportionately harder. So there are measures that are being put in place there. So for instance, it's going to be um, a double week cost of living support system to social welfare recipients in October. Uh, so they're going to get a, a, you know, a, a second week of uh, a, a double payment in, in a week in October. They're going to get their Christmas bonus social welfare payment in full. The social welfare entitlements are going up from, are going up by 12 euros. Uh, the, working, uh, the working family payment is going to there's going to be a one-off payment for 500 euros the child benefit is going to be there's going to be a double child pe pe benefit for at, a, at 140 euros so i was just kind of doing the maths and let's say you were a double income family earning around 40,000 euros each so a couple earning 45,000 euros each who have two kids uh, uh, in school and um, they're probably going to be and i use the word better off loosely here because they're probably going to have 250 euros or 2,500 euros or so more when all of these changes are uh, come into effect. But they are going to have to face price increases that will probably take at least 4,000 euros out of their day, out of their annual budget. So they're in fact going to be much worse off despite these changes. For that family, though, good news for them in terms of the school books and for childcare costs, though. 
Yeah, actually, and, and this is something that we've talked about on the show many times in the past, the, 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 the charges that parents sending their kids to school face. And it's, it seems like it's been a great revelation to the government that here's a really popular measure that you can roll out almost instantly that won't cost you too much money that will make a, an impact on parents of sending their kids to primary school so all primary school books from next september will be free it's only going to cost the government 47 million euros now 47 million euros would be an awful lot of money to you or me but when you think that the entire budget for the, the, the is, is worth 11 billion it's really small beer so school books are going to be free and the government has also committed to seeing childcare costs fall by at least by by 50 percent over the next two years so again then there's going to be money given to parents who are sending their who are who are saying sending their kids into child care centres like creches uh, this year and that'll be doubled next year. Another area that the government has kind of taken some steps to, to um, alleviate high costs is the rental market. Now we we again we've talked about it in the show in the past. People who are renting are are really facing difficult times at present. You know you look at the average rents in, in Dublin are well in excess of two thousand euros uh, for a house. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's slightly lower in other parts of the country, but still pretty high. The government has given a tax credit to, 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 to renters that's worth 500 euros. Uh, it's going to be applied from 2003, uh, 2023, but it's going to be retrospectively applied to 2022 as well. So again, that's a small measure. But I mean, like these things aren't going to make a massive difference to people's day-to-day -day living. I mean, Threshold have said that the tax measures aimed at renters is going to basically equate to a week's worth of rent for people who are living in expensive accommodation in Dublin. So it's it's good, but it's probably not going to go a, a very, very long way for a lot of people. OK. Uh, the help to buy scheme is being extended because there was a serious worry that that was going to be kicked into touch. Thankfully, it's not. No, absolutely. It's going to be extended for the next couple of years. And again, that will benefit first time buyers. Um, and it's just like, but I suppose the question mark then is, does that address the housing problem that we have? And the answer is, of course, no, because I mean, we are still right in the middle of a housing crisis. And the reality is, if we weren't in the, if we weren't dealing with the cost of living crisis, and if we hadn't just dealt with COVID, the housing crisis would be given a much greater degree of prominence than it probably is and then than it probably deserves because it deserves to be front and center because there's an awful lot of people living in very very difficult situations so the the, the help to buy scheme again it's being extended until 2024 that's going to that's going to be of some support to people there's also other measures for instance the government has also decided to extend the the excise cut on motor fuel now when they introduced that earlier this year that saw 21 between 16 and 21 cent cut off the price of of, of petrol and diesel that was due to to run out soon. It's now going to be extended on to into the into the new year. And there's a few other schemes that have been uh, that have been rolled that have been extended because the government is acutely aware of the fact that it's going to be a tough winter for an awful lot of people, and the measures are are, are going to be in, introduced to try and offset some of the worst of the of the cost of living crisis. I earn over forty uh, grand. I live alone, and from my earning, I pay my mortgage and all my household bills. I also run a car to and from work. What is in this budget for me? Well, actually, th th this viewer will probably be one of the big winners. And again, I use the word winner advisedly, because if you're earning over the 40,000 euros, as a result of the widening of the lower rate tax band, uh, she'll probably be better off by 640 euros or she'll be paying uh, 640 euros less tax as a result of the widening of the of the of the tax bans. She'll also get a 75 euro tax credit um, and she'll get a, around 50 euros as a result of the, the, the tweaks in the in the USC. So that's around 800 euros. And then on top of that, she'll get the 600 euros uh, energy credit. So that takes it to 1400 euros. Um, the excise duty things for driving the car, I mean, like we're not going to really count that because the government has has, has just maintained or has taken 20 cent less in, in excise duty on the, on the, on the litre of fuel. But like off, off the t or like back of a back of a matchbook uh, uh, notes, she'll be better off. And again, I stress better off as being used advisedly by around 1,500 euros as a result of the budget measures. But it is worth pointing out that as a result of the cost of living spike in prices, she's going to be worse off by around three or 4,000 euros. And more than that, if she's on a variable rate mortgage, depending on what she's paying. Okay. Uh, David, it is a question that a couple of people have posed. Does the budget affect government members as well as the general public? Well, of course it does, yeah. in the sense that the government uh, ministers, TDs, they all pay taxes at the same rates that everybody else does. So, but you know, they're earning fairly good money. 
So, you know, if, if you're a TD and you're earning 90,000 euros a year, well, you're going to be, you know, you're going to get the tax benefits as well. But, you know, so, yes, all of the measures that are rolled out for the general population also impact uh, well, TDs. I, I, I think they might be, be alluding to the pay rise that they got recently as well. So. Well, there was also the pay rise, yeah. um, which was quite generous when you think that a lot of people have been, get, have been struggling without any kind of pay rise. Yeah. Uh, Connor, in our chat before the break, we didn't quite cover third level fees, but they are due to be reduced by a thousand euro this year with future reductions of 500 or 1500 depending on household earnings. So that ties in with our next question from Catherine. Does the 1000 euro reduction in college fees apply to mature students? I haven't. I actually went and I, I tried to search for this for this just to definitively say it. But I mean, I would imagine one hundred percent that it applies to mature students. Uh, but because it, 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 it's college fees and mature students, whether you're twenty five, fifty five, or, or nineteen, you're paying the same fees. So I can't. I can't imagine any circumstance in which the fee, the, the, the 1,000 euros that people will be able to apply for back won't apply to mature students. But I don't want to say definitively yes, in case there's some kind of tiny little bit of small print that says, oh no, if you're, you know, if you're a mature student, you don't qualify. But my understanding right now is that you would qualify for it. You did say get money back because there are a whole host of people who've already paid those student fees up front. So, well, this is it. I mean, like the, 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 the return of the, the fees, the reduction of 1,000 euros is applies for the fees for uh, the, the coming uh, the coming uh, year for the coming academic year so if you've already paid them you'll have there'll have to be a mechanism in place for you to get those fees back okay uh, I spotted in the papers that there's 500 euro for those on the working family payment what is this yeah so basically that applies to, to, to people who are on low incomes but they are they are employed and that's that's going to be increased by 500 they're going to get a 500 euro but uh, extra payment in the run-up to Christmas um, but it, it, it's for people who are on low incomes so they're not on social welfare but they're not on the higher incomes and at least that's some benefit for, the, for that for those people who are in the middle because as I say the people who will benefit most from the tax changes are the ones who are who are earning more than 40,000 euros the people who are on social welfare will benefit a little bit from the 12 euro a week increase in the social welfare payments and other fuel allowance increases and, and so the, the, the working Family allowance is, is a really important measure to capture those people who are in the middle. So it's going to be worth 500 euros. Okay. Um, Mary asks, how do single people who are homeowners benefit from the budget? Well, it really depends on how much you're paying. Like I said, like a single person will benefit from the tax changes. Uh, you know, as I said, 640 euros if you're earning more than 40 grand, uh, you'll get the 75 euro tax credit and all the, those other things. In terms of the mortgage payments, um, you know, the... There's no uh, allowances being given in the in the in the budget for people who are paying mortgages, and it does depend on whether or not she's on a tractor mortgage or a fixed rate mortgage to see to see how much extra she'll have to pay. Okay. Uh, Bridget was in touch as well. She says one of the mums in my school WhatsApp group mentioned an allowance for clothing and footwear. I was wondering who is eligible, and if I still have time to apply for the, for it this year. Yes, yeah, so there's, there's this, uh, you need, she would need to go onto the Department of the, uh, Social Protection website and there's a very clear set of instructions that you can follow and all of the information on eligibility, application criteria and all of the rest is available on the Department of Social Protection website and it is available to people, it's means tested or at least it, it, it's available to people who are on, uh, on, on lower incomes. Um, I would imagine that if she, if she checks on the website now, she, she might still be able to make the application. I do know that people tend to apply very early in the summer and the government and, and the department does have to process them uh, over a period of time.